1759. That's a ways ago. A fellow with one name, Voltaire, he wrote Candide. In 1958, Terry Sullivan and some other fella, they wrote Candy. 20 years after that, in 1978, Alex Dorenzi made Pretty Peaches. The end. That's it. I'm kidding. I lied. I didn't mean to be dishonest with you guys. I was joking because I have so much to say. I thought it'd be funny to act like I only have one thing to say. Please forgive me. Let's do the thing. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's Jason from Barefoot. Squeaky Clean Adult Films. Midweek drop. Yesterday was Sunday. That's the only day that it's a brand new spanking one. That is, was, <laughs> uh, Alex Dorenzi. Wild Things too. And I told you we were doing this. I haven't even shot this yet. But I knew I was going to. I knew I had nothing to do and uh, uh, $15 to make. And so I reverse engineered this here picture. This intro will be two minutes or less. Then I, in the back, I'll be speaking. We'll go forever if that's possible. I really love this movie. It is insane. It's repulsive. It is so many different things, good and bad. It's a Keystone Cops slapstick comedy straight up shot on 35 millimeter released beautifully by vinegar syndrome i love this movie i love this problematic movie this film has no credits look it up on imdb all the characters are uncredited desiree cousteau one best actress this year for this performance there's a fact have we talked about the movie have i talked about the movie it's about amnesia <laughs> Don't you think she'd leave the car running? All right, all right, all right. Hey, man, don't hit my car. Sacks that time. With the good push by the front four, Abdul Salam is in his second year out of Kent State. He was known as Larry Don't keep my boots all wet, man. Turn the water down. Man for man coverage, a good drop by the four Hey, what are you doing there? Don't you know we've got a water shortage? Blow me, we're not wasting your lives in the water. We're thirsty and we need a drink. There's got to be enough water for people to drink. Well, sure, you need a drink. I, I just don't want you wasted, you understand? I mean, we have a water shortage here, you know? Would you like me to clean your water and check your windshield for you? Oh, would you? That's very nice of you. Hey, uh, where's your ladies room? It's right to the back. Thank you. Everybody gets to go to their own daddy's wedding.
Okay, Margaret, I'm ready. Take Lillian to be your lawful wedded wife. Yeah, I do. Do you, Lillian, take you to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. I, I knew she'd make an issue, pretty. Oh. Uh, excuse me a minute. Wait, I'll be right back. Now, where have you been? We were waiting. I hope you don't mind we started without you. But there's another couple scheduled at 3 o'clock, and we were in a hurry. Oh, Daddy, I understand, but aren't I always late? Congratulations. Congratulations, Lily. I mean, Mom, I hope you'll be very happy. Mom! You know, you're the prettiest thing alive. Golly, Daddy. <laughs> well, where are we going? Congratulations. What? Oh, right, we got married. Thank you, thank you very much. Try turning it over. All right, all right.
sure is pretty. Yep. Oh. Hi, how are you doing? What happened? How, how did I get here? Who are you two? Hey, are you okay, lady? I don't know. I, I feel sort of funny, really. Well, well, what's your name? My name is... Golly, I don't remember what my name is. Well, where are you from? Where do you, where do you suppose I come from? I don't remember that either. Wait a minute. You say you don't know who you are or where you come from. What do they call that kid? Amnesia. Hey, lady, you got amnesia? Golly, I, I hope not. Well, is your name Betty or Claudia or Lucille or...? I don't think so. Maybe Mary or Alice mm. or Carolyn? No, none of those either. Are you sure you don't remember who you are or where you come from? I think I'm sure. Well, if you're sure you don't know who you are or where you're coming from, why don't you come along with us in our Jeep? Golly, I don't think I'd better do that. I think I'd better stay here until I remember who I am. Okay, but we have to go. Come on, kid. Let's get out of here. You sure you'll be all right? Yeah, thanks for everything. Okay. Man, this is really a beauty. We scored today. Let's put it down, man. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe I better go, too. Man, let her walk. Hey, don't be so cool, man. We're 10 miles from nowhere. What are you going to do, man, if she gets her memory back? Hey, I'll think of something. Where are we going? We're going to San Francisco. Oh, good. I love San Francisco. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to spend my honeymoon in this flea bag hotel. The only people I saw were Indians. Where am I supposed to wear my new clothes? I'm worried, honey. It's not like her. She came all the way from San Francisco, and I don't know where she's gone to. She's never done anything like this before. Oh, don't worry about her. She's a big girl. She can take care of herself. This is my honeymoon. Think about me. Cozy. Sure. Quick, quick. You just pretend it's the plaza and put your pajamas on. downstairs at exactly 8.30. Do just what Uncle Percy says, and he'll get rid of your amnesia for you. For certain? For certain. Come here, kid. Suppose he cures her. What are you going to do then? You going to give her back her jeep? Why, Jesse, I never knew you had such a greedy streak in you. Why don't you act civilized and pay attention to me for a change? Think what I'm thinking. This girl might be rich. There might even be a reward in it. Oh, yeah. Get back. 
Yeah. Give me a book. Before. You mean it didn't work? You still don't know who you are? No, I don't. And that man, your Uncle Percy, is a pervert. Well, I don't think he could, could cure anything, especially not amnesia. Well, that's not a nice thing to say about my Uncle Percy. Yeah. And we can't take care of you either. But you can stay with us tonight. But you have to get a job first thing in the morning. Fair is fair. Now get warm. All right. Let's go, Jack. No, I'm really worried. She's still not home. She's a big girl, and I'm sure she has lots of friends to stay with. Come on now. Don't forget your new honey. Yeah, you're right. It's not the first time she stayed away overnight. Good evening, Master Hugh. Hi, Katya. Look who I brought home. Your new mistress. She's very pretty. Who is this? This is Katya. She takes care of my house. And I know the two of you are going to get along very, very well. I can feel it. Why don't you get the bags out of the car? By the way, on the sofa, there is a package for the new missus. Oh, it's cows! Job so I can get out of this crazy place. Let's see. Dental assistants, dancers, credit dancers. Twelve hmm. fifty a month. my advice, I'd be happy to give it to you. Come by my office this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Here's my card. Okay. 
Oh, doctor. A psychiatrist? It's a beautiful day. Maybe now I can find out who I really am. And that's as far back as I can remember, doctor. They said that they were driving by in a jeep and found me laying asleep on the ground. I don't know how I got there. Our minds can work in very peculiar ways sometimes. What appears on the surface to be a, a mental problem can actually be a physical one. Oh, I didn't know that. That's very interesting. Yes. Well, that's it. She's gone. You think we'll have to give her back her Jeep? No, she still don't know it's hers. You know, something that little girl might be worth a lot of money. Did anyone ever bother to check the registration on that Jeep? Anybody? Yeah. You mean me? Yeah, you. Hurry, honey, we don't want to miss anything. I don't know. I, maybe I'm getting a little too old for this kind of thing. Well, I don't know why your analyst invited us to this special know-your-own-self get-together party, whatever it is. Give us a bag of money, and we'll tell you a secret. Shut up. I'm trying to think. Oh, you're trying to think? Trying to think. You're trying to think? Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. You're thinking, huh? Yeah. Don't everyone jump at once. I'll get it. I wonder who that is. That's interesting. Yes? Go ahead, dummy. Yes? Go ahead. Well, we've got a secret. Oh? Yeah. And if you give us $1,000 a piece, we'll tell you what it is. That sounds like a lot of money for something I don't know anything about. Maybe I should know this secret first. We can't do that, lady. How about a hint? Who is it, honey? Thank you very much, but I don't think we want any. Just a salesman, dear. It's about something you lost. Oh, Jesus, you were great, Jesse. I made you nervous. Yeah, you made me nervous. Look, they're going out. We'll follow them and see where they're going. Maybe we'll have another chance to talk with them. I made you nervous, huh? Yeah, you made me nervous, huh? Well, relax. Plenty of time to nervous. Sure, this is the place? Yes, of course I am. Maybe we're early, huh? I don't think so. Well, I don't know. What can I say? There's nobody here. Mm -hmm. Where could they be? This has got to be the wrong place. You go check it out. I'll sit here and wait. This place looks familiar. What do you mean? We just left here. Oh, yeah. It's the Doc's house. Hello? Anybody home?
Oh, it's you, the salesman. How's the secrets business? Hey, listen, lady, you didn't understand what my friend was trying to tell you earlier. You see, we found this girl with amnesia, and we think you might know her. Amnesia? Oh, Lord, peaches. Yeah, but don't forget the reward. You mean she doesn't know who she is? Uh, well, what happened to her? Hey. This is terrible, just awful. Well, where is she? She's here. I think I'm going to faint. <laughs> Hey, are you okay, lady? What did you think? This film is about injustice and manipulation. This film is about manipulation. And this film is about injustice. I shouldn't joke about that. Wrong. You should always joke about everything. Nothing's off limits. She's naive. She's put upon. She's unaware. She's innocent. She's cute as a bug's ear. And she deserves the best actress. That's our lead, Desiree. Beaches. So many stars in this movie. Joey Silvera is king. He's not doing his standard slapstick. Tons of comedy, but not shticky. He's just funny, funny. Him and his no-named friend, I could not figure out who Joey Silvera's partner is. I read like nine full articles. Thank God Vinegar Syndrome released this, so it got reviewed and reviewed and reviewed. Julia Anderson. Julia Anderson. I had to cut around your outfit a lot, Julia. John Leslie with a beard, he looks awesome. Uh, Paul Thomas with an, an, a banging haircut. A 1978 banger, Flower. The actor known as Flower is John Leslie's wife. They're Desiree Cousteau's parents. I didn't look up what age Flower was born, but it doesn't matter because she's a stepmom. She's marrying into the family. But John Leslie, he had little Desiree in this cinematic universe when he was 11. That's against the law. That's against the law. He's 11. Her dad is 11 years older than her. And I didn't look up Flower, but that's her new stepmom. She's kind of racist. The Adult Film Association of America, 1978. That's how, uh, Des or that's where Desiree won her best actress for. She deserves it big time. She's from Georgia in real life. Can you tell? Oh, believe me, you can tell. Man, she has a jumper in one scene. So many people I had to cut around their outfits to keep it G. I also, in this one whole scene, I took all of the alcohol away from them. I was going to leave it at PG and I thought, you know what? If I can, I will. Those are the rules. One of the rules of this series. If I can, I will. I lost none of the narrative exposition. I just cut around the alcohol and I cut around the outfits. Man, her jumper is banging in this opening Jeep scene. I don't know if you guys ever think I'm being mean to Alex Dorenzi. R.I.P. I'm not. It's just that one, t uh, we did two things relatively close. One had above title billing and one didn't. And they were like a year apart. And I was like, what? And then I was like, hmm. And then I was like, no. And then I was like, what? And then I was like, and so I wasn't really making fun of him. But he has above title billing in this. This film has no credits. Look it up on IMDb. All the characters are uncredited. You know how in a movie... Sometimes you'll see a character that says uncredited. The entire cast is uncredited because there's no titles. There is an opening title card and it says above title Billy, Alex Dorenzi's Pretty Peaches. There's another title card that says the end at the end. And that's it. That's all they paid for. Opticals. It's 1978. They're called opticals. Get with the program. Don't make me teach you about movies. No, <laughs> we just wrote a sketch. We, I mean, me and then my invisible friend over there called, I know more movies. Can you read this? I know more about film than you. For a, a s one of two S's, a skit or a series. Oh, we gotta talk about this movie. Alex Dorenzi died in 2001. He directed a lot of movies, 205 to be exact, but he only wrote eight. So I'm working on a lot of Richard Mallow right now for Sundays for original stuff, but we've never done Pretty Peaches 3. So I'm telling you what, that's coming up. He did not write that, but I'm gonna look into the eight movies he did write because just like we were doing the Richard Mallow series. Uh, oh, the other day I said, I don't know what my list, what my order is, but my two of my favorite directors are Henry Pritchard and Richard Mallow. And did I say Alex Dorenzi? I don't remember. Those are my top three directors. 
So props to the Holy Trinity of adult cinema. I usually say in the end that we have a donate button. Uh, will someone donate, donate me? I want to buy a Vinegar Syndrome t-shirt. I brought this up on our art vlog. If you buy me a Vinegar Syndrome t-shirt, I'll wear it every day for one week. I'll wear it every day for one month. I love Vinegar Syndrome so much. I would quit. I would turn my back on all of you guys if that was my job. I'm just kidding. I did another joke like in the beginning, like in the cold open. I did a joke. I'm sorry. I'm just in that kind of mood. I'll get back. I'll just be non-jokey fact machine. The music is okay. The cool nerds. Matt, I'm going to get a little meta here. You're going to not be able to tell if I'm making fun of these people or if I'm giving these people propers. They would all say it slaps. A lot of YouTubers would say this music slaps. And it does. We got country western, like real country western. We got ragtime, piano. We have straight up funk. So many cool music choices. And I don't know who the music supervisor was, but they were like, what are we going for? We're going for mixtape. Mixtape. Not like a rapper's mixtape that you drop on SoundCloud. A real mixtape that you make the girl you love in high school or junior high. This film was 91 minutes in the theater. In the theater. 91 minutes. We got it down to 24 and a half. That is a big walking, walking. Was that racist? It was a big whopping. Well, that's more racist. This was a big honking, honking. It's close. This was a big pile of exposition. Have we talked about the movie? Have I talked about the movie? It's about amnesia. And it's kind of like um, Big Lebowski Inherent Vice. Okay? So this movie's basically like, you know, P.T. Anderson, Coen Brothers. It's uh, kind of no plot, but a moving forward force. Okay? In those type of cinematic universes, you can't really shovel the scenes because it's a driving force movie where each scene leads you to the next scene. And then that's just what it is. Scratch all that. Put it in the end. I kind of liked it. Should I do a disclaimer up front? I'm working on my art vlog, which is me doing this. I have to be PG. That's the rules of this series. I do another thing where I'm, I don't even know, we are working on that behind the scenes. You'll see it in a little bit. I think that that just seeped into my brain. I'm sorry. Right now I'm kind of being Jason from I Shouldn't Post This, and I should be being Jason from Squeaky Clean Adult Films. Moving right along. So sorry if that's bleeding over. You all think I'm annoying here? You should see that. Oh, you kind of are now. Don't let me ruin the movie. Let's watch it. I'm going to pop in at the end the, at the, and when it's done. What's that called? The end. I'll be there talking. All right. Don't subscribe. Don't like. Don't share. Just watch. Uh, 15 of you donate a dollar so I can get a Vinegar Syndrome t-shirt. I mean, I make like $15 a day, so you don't have to donate. Is that true? Let's see. This is dumb. Keep it in. 15 times 30. 15 times 30 is 450. Huh, I do not make $15 a day. Let's try this. 200 divided by 30. 200 divided by 30 is approximately 6.67. You don't need to donate to me. I make 666. You see that? Don't worry about it, guys. I make 666. Uh, uh, I appreciate you guys. You guys know I told you that already that there's no one over there. It just helps me freestyle. Love you, bye.